if you've got a data set of population points like this one, you can use the select tool and then show statistical summary to add up the values. So this data set here is points for England and Wales, and I have a population value in one of the columns. Here's the column with the population values. So that's all we need. Now I'm going to use the select tool, but I'll click on the drop down to choose select features by freehand in this case, because I want to select an area using this tool. So I'll just draw around the area I want to calculate population for, and I'll left click to end. And then I'm going to click on the show statistical summary button. The layer is already chosen because there's only one layer. The column I'm using here is the population column. And in this case, what it will do by default is calculate the total data set. For selected features only, you just need to look down below. I'll tick that box and then it's going to recalculate. One thing you will notice in QGIS, it will give the sum results if it's a large number like this in scientific notation. So the number total is about 24 million here, so 24.8 million. But sometimes people don't find these easy to read. And if that's the case, just highlight the cell, copy the value, switch to something like Excel, paste the value in, and you'll find there that if you paste it in, it will probably be like that. And then you can right click, go to format cells, and it'll be scientific. So you can change it to number with no decimal places and using a thousand separator. So that's a little fix. It's just a number formatting thing, but that's how you can do this in QGIS when you've got population data. The key thing to remember is to tick selected features only when that's all you want to add up. And that's all there is to it.